at some point I said it guys Oguti it appears like ne, as this story keeps developing we're gonna be hearing more and more of uh, people coming up and saying okay this is what happened to me this is what happened to me this is what happened to me well you know what I just said it a day ago guess what another family they are claiming the, the one of the body that Dr. Nande Pamakutumane uh, claimed actually belongs to that family. And the worst part, guys, this is pure human trafficking because um, the people that died, actually they died mysteriously. Like, honestly speaking, if you look, if you follow the story that I'm about to unpack to you now, the person that died here, they died mysteriously. It's not like she just went there and claimed um, literally dead bodies that are unclaimed. No, it is clear that these people have evil heart, that they have killed so many people. And what annoyed me the most is the fact that police keeps hiding. Why are they, why are they shielding Dr. Nandipa and an all the stuff because clearly these people have murdered a lot of people all in the name of just one person just releasing turbo best no it appears like these people were demonic like come on they were demon poses looking at the things that they've done Yar. Ha. but let me unpack provided that you're interested if you are interested then please stick around as you stick around guys there's only one favor that i'm requesting from you guys and that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do that? You need to do that because it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. I, I, guys, we are moving from one shock to another. Guys, we are just seeing it's not, it's beyond greediness, it's beyond selfishness, it's beyond, um. It's beyond uh, yeah, there's no words. There's no words to, 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 to you. I don't know how to articulate this. But guys, for those of you who have thought that Dr. Nandipa, the good doctor, has local, she's innocent. Guys, it appears like all the bodies that she claimed, those people went missing they died mysteriously let me give this story lest you accuse me of manufacturing facts here but let me give this story guys this thing it annoys me people are selfish this person had that this woman a medically a qualified student who had her job will even go and kill other people come on we expect this desperation from people who are stricken by poverty who don't know how to fend for their families but People like this. Look at the story. It goes like now, according to ENCN News, ENCA News, they say, okay, look, a family, a free state, no, a free state family has contacted the police, believing that one of their body claimed by Dr. Nande Pamakutumane says before Tabo Best escape is their relative, right? They say. Over the weekend, Katlako Mpolo's body was identified, but what about the remaining bodies and what would have led to their death? Godfrey Let's Out, or 66, was last seen by family in Kimberley when his sister dropped him off at a taxi headed to Plumfontein. A taxi driver told the family he dropped Let's Out off the uh, Majaka uh, Majahatata taxi rank, and that was the last time he was seen alive. Since the allegation that Makutumane claimed multiple bodies from the Bloemfontein State Mutual surfaced, the family contacted the police, who then did a DNA test and took the family to look to view the bodies on 19 April 2023. 2023. However, guys, the DNA results are not yet uh, back. So if the guys, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know what annoys the most? There are people who are still out there. Hey, 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 Dr. Nande Pamakutumane was moved, was manipulated by so and so. Hish, guys, it's just, you feel like nothing, 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 man. Her, her. I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep saying this, guys. If you were, if we were assigned to comfort these families, you are assigned to comfort these families. What are you going to tell these families? That's what I want to know. What are you going to tell these families? You know, families find it easier to move on if their loved one 
die uh, maybe through sickness and they you know you take that person to hospital and then that person die they find it easier to move on but this person died mysterious death now after that mysterious death there's this selfish two selfish individuals called Tabo Pesta and Nande Pamakotumane who kill these people and then you know you 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 guys is everything normal in this country like honestly speaking is everything normal in this country according to you guys is everything normal in this country you claimed three bodies from the mutual ne? only one body was used what happened to the three bodies now we are hearing this this one died mysterious dead why do you have to kill three people why do you have to murder three people just for one body because there's something that doesn't make sense in this story it appears like this was just a pure sacrifice human were being sacrificed because it really doesn't make sense that you can claim three bodies but you need one body for Tabo Besta to escape. So what happened to the two bodies? What are you doing with these two bodies? Because here we are no longer even talking about hypothesis. What if, what if, what if, what, what if they will murder these individuals and then uh, put them in a place where they know that they will be discovered by the mutual? Knowing exactly that, uh, like, like guys, let, let me give an example. Each and every area we know which police station patrols in that area. So you know that if uh, uh, something happens here, the first people to respond, uh, it's this police station. So it's the same with mutual. So it's the same with hospitals. That's why you can stay maybe wherever you're staying. If you jump a clinic or a hospital next to you and you go to another hospital, they ask you address and they discover that uh, there's a clinic next to you or a hospital, they'll send you back to that clinic. That means that's how government works. Even in mutuaries, there's you can't just take a body to a mutuary in, in in Soweto when you are living in Jimistin. No, there's government mutual in Jimistin. I'm saying, what if those people were, uh, were 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 obliterated or eliminated, knowing exactly that okay, the mutual that I can easily get access to is this one. So you will look, you will murder them and put them there, and then go and claim them because there is a record that she claims those bodies. But the question is. How do you do such a horrible thing? Like, I mean, honestly speaking, guys, are we still okay? Like, I, I, let's touch ourselves. But maybe this physical body does not, is not a reflection of what is going on here. I think it's about time we start reflecting of what is going on here. It's like now we need to fear that you guys might... might cook me, kill me, cook me and eat me. Not long ago, we had people eat, look, going into, in, 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 into, into graveyards and digging bodies and cooking those bodies and eating those bodies. It is as if like we are moving towards that time where ish, man, at a rapid speed, things are just ish, man, upside down, things that are imaginable. You know, you, know, you wouldn't have imagined these things. Hey, but they are happening here. Is it, are we still safe within our relatives if things like this happen? People's greediness and selfishness, it make them commit crimes that you ask yourself a question. You had a profession, you were a medical student, you were uh, working, we are, uh, you had a very good job. Why do you commit such horrible crimes? It makes sense perhaps for Tabo Besta, who doesn't even have an ID, but you, Tabo, Dr. Nandipa, you had a full career, a blossoming career. Selfishness will be the end of many of us, guys. Wanting more, let us learn to be content. Cause it, yeah, I'm telling you, the 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 the, 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 the very thing that led her into this, it is selfishness and greediness. Wanting more and more and more. Be content. There's not there's a difference between being content and being ambitious. And a lot of people confuses their selfishness as being ambition, ambitious. You can be content and still be ambitious. Look, still have ambitions. Being content, it means satisfaction or of your achievement. So much so that you don't want to take shortcuts. You allow the process of growth to happen. You still push for growth. But in that way, it eliminate the, uh, the, uh, the, the aspect of selfishness. While it allows you to express yourself fully in terms of that. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Let us learn to be content. In this story, what I'm saying, what, I'm actually, what I've actually come to realize is that, uh, you know, selfishness, greediness, 
uh, it's the it's the key that it's something that is key and it's the cause of many people's fall such as dr nandipa like honestly speaking if she was if she was content yet ambitious then there wouldn't have been a need for her to go all the way committing all these horrible crimes no that's the lesson that i want to leave you with be content yet be ambitious grow but if you are content you're never gonna take shortcuts you know what i'm saying that's all i'm asking from you guys you and i guys will see each other in the next video but until the next video good people please take care